In this video we're going to be going over what the best lenses are for photography, specifically in the automotive world. I will just say before we start that these are just my opinions, so you should take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt. Okay, so there are many different options when it comes to buying lenses, but what are the best options for you? In the case of car photography, we need to look at what our needs are. There are many different styles and types of automotive photography, so let's look at a few examples to get a better understanding of what you might need. Let's start with interiors. A focal length between 16 and 35mm has worked great for me on my full frame 5D Mark III. I have the f4 IS version, which I got over the f2.8 version because I had the idea of rig shots in mind. However, I've never actually done any rig shots with this lens before, so maybe I would have been better off buying the f2.8 version. Anyway, if you're on a budget and you're looking to get just one lens, then this isn't the lens that I would go for if I was you. This is because you can't really get very much telephoto compression with this lens. The lens that I would choose is the 24 to 70 millimeters. If I could only have one lens for the rest of my life, then it would definitely be the 24 to 70 millimeters. It is considerably wide while also being able to produce some telephoto compression at 70 millimeters. The version that I have is the 24-70 f2.8 IS by Tamron. Unfortunately Canon didn't offer a lens that had both an aperture of f2.8 right the way from 24-70 to and image stabilization. So I checked out Tamron, rented one out and I was really impressed. It has a constant aperture of f2.8 right the way throughout the zoom range, which makes it great for video work and an ultrasonic silent drive for focusing. The last lens for car photography is the 70 to 200 millimeter. If we're putting these lenses in order, then this is probably the last one that I'd get. If you can afford it, then great. If you can't, then definitely focus your efforts on the 24 to 70 instead. The 70 to 200 millimeter will give you even more compression for those exterior shots. I will just jump in here and say that you really don't need a fancy lens for car photography. You can get great results from just a kit lens. The great thing about car photography is that it's a lot more dependent on framing and composition as opposed to depth of field for example. So there we are, hopefully you got something out of it. If you like the video then don't forget to give it a like, it really helps me out in smashing this YouTube algorithm. Comment and let me know what lens you use for your car photography. Finally subscribe and hit the bell icon, again it's a small gesture that really helps me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.